Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Taisha with Organized Plans. I want to start by thanking all of my returning subscribers for spending some time with me today. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you. In today's video, I'm continuing in my Go Wild Planner Setup series, and I'll be setting up and creating pages for budget, uh, merchandise that I want to buy, as well as table mate gifts. So if you'd like to join me for this plan with me, then let's get started. <music> Okay, friends, so I'm excited to just continue in my Go Wild Planner Setup series, and I'll be creating a few different pages for in this uh, video for today. Uh, just a few things that I want to recap as I get started. Uh, so I have created a playlist for Go Wild. I have that on my channel. So if you want to see all of the content that I've created uh, as I've set up these planner pages and and for Go Wild, then definitely check out that playlist. In terms of sticker books, I have already kind of created a layout for these pages and I'm using a combination of these four sticker books for all of the spreads. So this one is by The Happy Planner, it's Glam Girl. And then by Live Love Posh, the Live Love Go Wild sticker book. I also have the Wild Basic sticker book by Kelva Plan. And then finally, Mojo Jojo Plans, the Go Wild Dallas sticker book. So uh, for these pages, I'll be using a combination of one or more of these sticker books. So if you want to create something similar, just know it. that's um, how I created this page was, or pages, were across um, one or more of these sticker books. In terms of the planner that I am going to be using, I am uh, taking a mini planner and I do have uh, this planner set up. I have a video of that. Again, that is part of the playlist if you want to go back and see how I set up this planner, uh, but I'll be taking pages from here. And in terms of the pages, I am just using a simple filler paper, as you can see here, uh, just mini size filler paper. And I've kind of labeled the sheets for what I want, um, you know, that particular page to cover. So I'm gonna take out this one for merchandise to buy, the table mate gifts, and then as I said, I have one that I want to create for budgeting and that's uh, everything that I'm going to do in this video. And I have so much enjoyed uh, this planner series and so forth. Um, so you have to let me know if you're liking it too and everything. And in terms of the spreads, as I said, I just kind of um, set aside and, and put together a little bit of a layout that I want to use uh, for each of these pages. And this sticker here that says budget, I did want to just also let you know that I have created some uh, customized stickers on my Cricut. Cricut. Um, so these were, I used a kind of Western style font uh, that I found on defont.com and downloaded this and installed it in the Cricut designer software. I typed up the words I wanted to use, printed the words on clear sticker paper, and then I've cut out the words using my Cricut. So I have everything pretty much in this um, font, and I really like that. It's kind of creating of a bit of a um, cohesive look across all the different pages. So I'm gonna start with just creating this one for budget, and we'll go ahead and zoom in as well, some so that you can see everything. And I am starting with this washi strip sticker and that'll be nice just to bring in a little bit of, a, of color onto the page. So I'm just gonna bring that down to the bottom here. And actually I think I'll just go all the way across. I think I have enough 
of the sticker to allow me to go all the way across. And then I'll just trim that off. And then use the rest of this for the top of the page. And again, just go that edge to the edge all the way across. And love how, I think this one came from the Live Love Posh sticker book. Love how it has those washi sticker strips. So this page is going to be uh, pretty straightforward in terms of the layout. I just want to have, and I think I'll actually just kind of just see how much space I have just to where I might need to place that. So I think I'm gonna have to put that at the very top of the page. And just somewhere around there, I think will work. Just wanna try to put it down straight. Okay. And while it does have pretty much all the categories that I can think of, I did just keep a few more rows if there's other things that um, that I think of or once Go Wild is over with and I kind of look back on what I spent if there's you know other categories that I want to add and that way it will help me for next year for planning and saving and budgeting and so forth, but definitely check out that video on my playlist if you want to see, uh, you know, how much I budgeted for and across the different categories, like the cost of the ticket, the hotel, um, amount for meals, um, table mate gifts, uh, travel, transportation, just, you know, all of this stuff. So definitely check out that video if you want to see what I've budgeted. And then I'm just going to use this very last sticker down here at the bottom just to bring a little bit of decoration. And I'm excited to see, I, I will kind of go back and fill in the budgeted amounts, and then I'm interested to see what the actual is going to be. Uh, and I'm very hopeful <laughs> I can stay within budget. Um, you know, certain things have definitely already been paid for, like the cost of the ticket, my flights, um, I've saved up for the hotel, and everything else is pretty much variable in terms of like how much I spend on meals or uh, merchandise, souvenirs, things like that. So um, I think I should be able to stay in budget pretty well, uh, but you know, we'll see how it goes. And I do plan on having a video um, after Go Wild is over with where I recap uh, the budget so that I, you know, share here's how much I set aside, here's how much I've actually spent, and I think it will be interesting to see how, you know, all that plays out. So definitely come back. Um, I, I think towards the end of April, I should have that video available and um, can share those details. So that is going to do it for this budget page. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the table mate gifts uh, insert that I want to create. So again, I want to start at the bottom and just go across. And I know I've personally really been enjoying watching um, different planner Planners, as they've set up their Go Wild Planner, is definitely giving me a lot of uh, inspiration as well as just excitement. This will be my first time attending uh, Go Wild, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I, and I think that's another reason why I want to just go ahead and get these pages complete because I really do need to start using them and filling them in and just, you know, finish off planning all the details. So that looks super cute. I love kind of this like Western 
pattern with the hat and the boots and the horseshoe. So that's cute. All right, so I've got that on the top and bottom. And then again, this will be fairly simple, but I want to have a page for table make gifts. And I have already purchased um, everything for the table make gifts. I have not assembled them yet. And I think it's something that I want to do before go wild so that I don't have to spend time um, doing that prep. So I can have everything just ready to go. And so I think I can put maybe this one right at the top here. Let's see, right on that line, I think will work. And I'm really excited about the table made gifts that I'm going to be sharing at the table I sit at. And I do plan on, since I'm gonna be assembling them in advance, I do plan on sharing uh, the table make gifts on my channel. So definitely stay tuned for that video if you'd like to see you know, what I have in mind and getting it all set up. Now this like little planner, I think it's a little bit too high because it's covering up those letters. So I just wanna bring that down so slightly. So that works and that way you can see everything. And then same thing with these like mild liners, so cute. Uh, let's just kind of bring this maybe a little bit on this angle like this. Okay. And then finally, just a few more stickers just to bring a little bit more decoration. So I really like this one. Y'all means all cute. And then just this little hat. So that's fun. So I'll kind of write in uh, the items that will go into the table they kind of gift bag. And that's how I will use uh, this page. So that is the table mate gifts. So the last sheet that I want to create in this video is again going to be merchandise to buy. Now, because I, because this is my first go wild that I'm attending, I'm not really sure what the merchandise is going to be to purchase. I have seen on Instagram uh, some of the small sticker shops sharing that there is going to be like a pop-up. Um, and they'll be selling merchandise on site. I know I've seen that from Live Love Posh, I think Simply Gilded as well. So I'm really excited to see what those items will be. I'm guessing they'll be, you know, more like go well themed items. So yeah, I'll have to see kind of what interests me there, but I just wanted to have this like page where I could uh, create a little bit of a fun page of, of items that uh, might interest me. So, you know, in essence, like little planner supplies or sticker books, things like that. And um, so that's what I'm doing here. And just want to kind of go around the edge here with these items. I think these are so cute. And just kind of create a little bit of a border going around with something like this. Okay. And then I'll do like 
the planner here in this corner. We've got the Go Wild. Cute. Maybe a pencil. Let's see. Uh, just seeing how best to maybe place this in. Maybe some like right here would work right in that spot. And we've got like some cute little paper clips. Fun. So maybe I'll stick this one up here. Maybe the other roll of washi. Maybe something like that there. I do have a little pin. So let me grab that too. Fun. Put that down. And the binder clip. Mm, let's put the binder clip here. Okay. And another little clip. Okay. And I think that is perfect. And I just have a little bit of a label that says merch. So this will be merch to buy once I kind of see what's available. And now I have a sheet for that. And that way I can remember, <laughs> uh, you know, what I might want to pick up while I'm there and I'll have like a running box for it. So super cute. I'm excited about this. Um, so just to have a, a final view of everything, I've got the budget sheet, I have the table mate gifts, and then finally uh, the merch to buy. So I love how these pages came out. Uh, definitely let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and give me a big thumbs up. Would greatly appreciate you subscribing. I thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye friends.